Hello everyone, it's Megan Cox. Today we will be exploring Seesaw, the learning journal. This is a student-driven portfolio that allows students to publish and curate their work while still communicating with their teachers, parents, peers, and even an outside audience. Once you have set up your Seesaw account and logged in, it will prompt you to create your first class. It will ask you to name your class, choose a grade level, and add some students. Over here to the left, you can add multiple classes if you have different groups of students. It will then take you to your class journal page. The first thing I recommend doing is going in the top right hand corner to your settings and customizing your settings for how you want to use Seesaw. Here you can adjust name, grade level, add co-teachers, and change the color scheme. In the student section, you have a few different options for how students log in. If you are working with younger aged students, or you are using shared devices and not a one-to-one -one setting, I highly recommend the first choice. It will allow you to log in all your student devices using a QR or text code and not requiring students to log in with a username and password. If you are working with older students or you have one-to-one, -one, you can choose one of these other devices, one of them including students logging in with Google. Under Manage Students, you can actually add more students, edit student names, remove students if they have moved. You can also customize the little icon. You can change it to their initials, different emojis, or even use a photo of the students. You also have some abilities to turn on or off what students can do or see, such as each other's work. Also, the ability to like and comment on each other's work. I highly recommend that you turn on approval so that you can see all student submissions before their peers do. Under Family Access, if you have this turned on, you can click the Invite Families button to send home and a page that gives families step-by-step -step instructions on how to log in and see just their students' work. Some other features that you can explore are turning on a class blog to share with an outside audience, managing folders, and your skills. Once you have your settings set up, you can start posting activities or student journal pieces so that students can review and see um, what you would like them to do. I'm going to go over here to my inbox. Your inbox will hold any messages or announcements, but it will also hold notifications when students have completed work. So since I turned on the approval feature, Allie has added something, but it didn't show up yet. I can now watch it as a teacher and listen to it, and if I think it's quality work, I can hit the check to approve it, or I can hit this trash can if not. I'm going to go ahead and hit the check to approve it, and now when I go to my journal page, I will see Allie's work. You see I have the ability to like, comment, add it to a folder, and the three little dots will actually give me some other options as well. To get your students logged in, you will need to give them the student code. So under the student code section, as mentioned before, you can get a QR or a text code, whatever works easier for you, um, and give this to your students. The first time students access Seesaw, they will tap, I'm a student, and it will already prompt a camera to open to scan this QR code, so no extra apps are needed. Um, once they get logged in, they'll see something pretty similar to what we see here with just a little less features since I'm logged in as a teacher. You will only need to do this per each device because once students come in and they choose to post to a journal, you will see after they submit their work, they can always record if they want to narrate, reflect, or explain thinking. But once they have checked that off and they're ready to submit their work, they just designated, um, designate who, who they are. And they can choose multiple students if you have kids working in a group, which is really nice. By clicking this check mark, they can submit. And now Derek and Tom can see their work on this page. If you um, noticed under the post of student journal, these are the options students have. They can take photos videos. They can also add photos from a camera roll. They can draw, which I just quickly showed you, type and record notes, and also add links. You can also do the same thing. The final thing that you can do are create and share activities or assignments for students. 
Seesaw will give you some suggested ones, but you can also create new ones. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Seesaw. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.